right, here where we are for the finals. Um, I'm willing to keep this hand. We have early interaction in case he has a fast start, a good turn four play, and then again, we either are drawing three drops or we get some lands for our Conduit of Ruin, which we then just curve into uh, the processor. So we'll keep. He is on the play. Part of me that wants him to be the uh, the surge deck with the pyromancer thing. That is something that we would happily glare. Unless we just draw two drop. Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of it. This is why we got rid of it. Once again, our opponent is stuck on two mana. This seems to be the theme of this draft. Is the pure skill of your opponents getting mana screwed. And us just curving out into big things. Now we go 4 drop, 5 drop, 6 drop, 7 drop. kills one of them. We're absolutely fine with that. You got it. We will not give you the free block. Bone saw. We've gone against so many bone saws. match where we want to try and race. I think since he's stuck on lands, we're going to go for the race here. So he probably just equips here and attacks. If he attacks with both, I don't think I block. big guys out. We will use the ability to aim this on top. Just got three of these guys, which is very good. Now he doesn't have any really good attacks. So he's probably just going to equip the Zalus Commando and pass. Because that still stops our Conduit from attacking. Our ideal draw right now is uh, um, the fight card. Buller Salvo.
Yeah. That's fine. So this turn, we're attacking with this guy. And we get to play two things. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Now that's just how much he's well able to do. Yeah. Alright, so he's got a lot of early aggression. Um, Afro Protector and War Cleric are probably going to be decent against him. Like this guy against the Boulder Salvo. Probably just take out these two. And I like our Courier Griffin, I think. Do I have any more early... Elemental Uprising could also be good, uh, but that's really only good if we have it in our opening hand. Because otherwise if he gets a second one down, a second commando down. So I think we switch this guy out for Cleric. And um, we bring in the Alpha Protector. I think our deck is still just pretty good against him. We actually just leave it as is. Just because we have, like, we have the high toughness thing, so he can't really attack. The other thing we kind of wish we had was a, uh... Ooh, actually, like, lead by example against him, because he's probably going to try and just keep blocking so that his first strike gets the benefit. I think we're going to bring in the Courier Griffin over to Spinebinder Mage. Bring in the Aft Protector over the Allied Reinforcements. Switch this out for the War Cleric. Um, keep this in, bring out this package and land. Bring in the Lead by example, allied reinforcements take out a land. I think I like trying that. Just keeps our curve lower, gives us a couple spells to go over the top, and gives us some more tricks in case he uh, tries to first strike us out. Yep, we'll keep this. Um, once again, if we don't draw lands, then we're in trouble, but. The Fortified Rampart and the Immolating Glare stop him from having a super aggressive uh, run. We do have Unnatural Aggression to, in case get things get out of hand. And now we have essentially our two finishers. Yep, Zaz Commando. I know, you have a bunch of them. Now we even have all of our colors. we got sky spawner we have things with reach for that harvest troll actually goes pretty well with sea guardian doesn't it
If he has something in the bowler salvo, that's pretty good for him. Bowler salvo. Alright, that's fine. Now we just need a land. Ooh, the no land there definitely hurt us. Well, opponent is down to two cards. We have the Immolating Glare for the Free Runner. I kill that. And all we need is a land for this uh, Seed Guardian, and then we're in pretty good shape. Now we need exactly a forest for the Sea Guardian, and we're in pretty good shape. Netcaster Spider is not bad. He has one card in hand, and we can deal with his board currently. So I actually like the position we're in, despite the fact that we're kind of stuck on lands. I will block. I will snap block. Oh, the I'm so dumb. There's Negator. Alrighty. Another spider. Not bad. Just have to... And we have a... a net, like, next turn, if we still don't draw land, we have an unnatural aggression to deal with one of the commandos so that that stops being a clock. Draw two cards. That's fine. Life Spring Druid. Does fix our mana base. We will play it. Next turn we get our Seed Guardian down. Like This is mostly just the clock that we're afraid of. That's not scary. Summoner is not bad. We just want to get the Sea Guardian down. So this guy can be big. So one, two, three, four. So next turn we actually have the ability to if we if we draw land, which seems to be the theme of this game, uh, we have the ability to play out our Scion Summoner and then we'll be able to hold up uh, a natural aggression.
sure. We attack with this 3 4. Cast a sign somewhere. Down to 8. So, really, what we're afraid of right now is expedite. Is able to expedite and then pump it once, twice. Get that down. Attack with this guy. I think while they're down, we fight. Drifter, no, that's fine. That right, is a wall. Um, land is good. Land's gonna get us our core entanglers down. We'll tap down the Titan Drifter and keep on attacking. All right, no, because it's this guy. Um, Yeah, that's fine. We fear another ally. We don't fear his lands. Is that enough? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Able to make it seven. Yep, that's enough. That's what we were afraid of. That was a good game. I'm um, trying to think if there's any other line that we could have done there. I don't think there was. I think we just were afraid of that exact play. Um. Alright, on the play, I think I like uh, this Elemental Uprising for exactly if we draw it on turn 1, 2, or 3. I do like this Courier Griffin still, I like these guys still. Uh, da -da -da. We've already gone down to 17 lands. I just get rid of one of these harvester trolls. There's four or five grand part. Maybe just 
uh, instead of this lead, for example. Yeah, that seems to be one that we want more in the draw. Uh, cause he'll be able to develop his board first. This one's more in the play because if our board is, or we get to play a guy, he plays a guy and then we attack in. Especially if his turn, like it seems like it's likely that his turn to play is going to be the Zadus Commando. We'll be on the play, and we'll keep this hand. He's got it. Looks like it's going to be a game of who curves out better. Three. First guy spawner. That's fine. Um, since you play the sky spawner i think we're just going to play our netcaster spider see who wants to spend his whole turn pumping that all right that's fine we're gonna get rid of this guy Harold. Harold. What are we doing, Harold? Ooh, that's a really good card for the situation. And tap down, Harold. Gonna attack him for two. Attack him for three. Attack him for three. Not the point that we need lands. And now what he leaves back will depend on what we play. If we only need to tap down one thing, then we'll tap down one thing. That's right, because things cost less. And the boulder salvo. Sounds commando. Right, so he's currently able to one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I'm going to tap down that and that. Let me tag it for five.
Do we attack him for five or do we only attack him for three? I think we attack him for five. Yep, we will make that trade. Caster Spider is pretty good here. Again, I think we tap this down and just attack for three. Is that the plan? Then play Net Caster Spider. Or do we, actually we attack with boat, or we attack with the team. Because if he blocks here, he's taking five down to 10. Or he just wants to kill this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Trade him for some damage. Play a spider. Boulder Salvo on our spider, potentially. Nope, it's only a four drop. Credit of analysis into Boulder Salvo. That'd be good. Maybe not. Um. Yep, I think we just keep making this these blocks. And he's gonna Boulder Salvo our this guy. Boulder's elbow. Ooh, just Narzad's commando. That's fine. Play a land and pass the turn. I don't think we're winning this. Our out is... Our out are our allies. Not our lands. Seed Guardian is also another pretty good card here. So is the Bailoff. Two. What's you got? It's a full cost one of those guys. Um. He gets in for a point of damage. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. this we tack with him which is not to ping us To 
goes for a fruit block. He does. Pretty sure we need exactly our pump guy to be able to want to stay in this game. One, two, three, four, five. Expedite into no. Wall's not gonna do it. Good games. Tap tap concede. Oh, I think we had a pretty solid deck. Um, yeah, game two was really close. But he got the card that he needed. Game three, we got a little flooded. Um, trying to think of... It's possible that I should have just been keeping the big stuff in that last game. Just because those are the cards that he doesn't have to deal with. But at the same time, I feel like we needed to... Uh, just have early blockers for his plays. But our opponent had a pretty good deck. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, doing... Magic Fridays every Friday now, and also take a look at my Until the Dawn series, and I started playing Firewatch this week as well, and we'll see you next time on Glacken Gamings. Mm -hmm.